This is Catholic Daily Reflections for Wednesday of the fourth week of Lent. Today's reflection is entitled, Amazement and Awe. Amen, amen, I say to you, the Son of Man cannot do anything on his own, but only what he sees the Father doing. For what he does, the Son will do also. For the Father loves the Son and shows him everything that he himself does. And he will show him greater works than these, so that you may be amazed. The most central and most glorious mystery of our faith is that of the Most Holy Trinity. God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are one God, yet three distinct persons. As divine persons, each one is distinct, but as one God, each person acts in perfect union with the other. In today's Gospel, Jesus clearly identifies the Father in heaven as His Father, and clearly states that He and His Father are one. For this reason, there were those who wanted to kill Jesus because he called God his own Father, making himself equal to God. The sad reality is that the greatest and most glorious truth of God's inner life, the mystery of the Most Holy Trinity, was one of the primary reasons that some chose to hate Jesus and sought his life. Clearly it was their ignorance of this glorious truth that drove them to this hatred. We call the Holy Trinity a mystery, not because they cannot be known, but because our knowledge of who they are can never be fully understood. For eternity, we will enter deeper and deeper into our knowledge of the Trinity and be amazed on a continually deepening level. One additional aspect of the mystery of the Trinity is that each one of us is called to share in their very life. We will forever remain distinct from God, but as many of the early church fathers like to say, we must become divinized, meaning we must share in God's divine life through our union of body and soul with Christ Jesus. That union also unites us with the Father and the Spirit. This truth should also leave us amazed as we read in the passage above. As we continue to read this week from the Gospel of John and continue to ponder the mysterious and profound teaching of Jesus on his relationship with the Father in heaven, it is essential that we not simply gloss over the mysterious language Jesus uses. Rather, we must prayerfully enter the mystery and allow our penetration of this mystery to leave us truly amazed. Amazement and transforming edification is the only good response. We will never fully understand the Trinity but we must allow the truth of our triune God to take hold of us and enrich in us, at very least, in a way that knows how much we do not know. And that knowledge leaves us in awe. Reflect today upon the sacred mystery of the Most Holy Trinity. Pray that God reveal himself more fully to your mind and more completely consume your will. Pray that you will be able to share deeply in the life of the Trinity so that you will be filled with a holy amazement and awe. Let us pray. Most holy and triune God, the love you share within your very being of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is beyond my comprehension. The mystery of your triune life is a mystery of the greatest degree. Draw me in, dear Lord, to the life you share with your Father and the Holy Spirit. Fill me with wonder and awe as you invite me to share in your divine life. Most Holy Trinity, I trust in you.